Hey guys, this is the Revolving Battle Fox again, and this time I am back with another drink test. And today's drink test will be none other than da 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 the Kana Hemp Energy Drink. Or is it Kana? Kana. I'm gonna call it Kana. So we have the Kana Hemp Premium Energy Drink plus organic caffeine plus omega 3. So Here's what the can looks like, and I, uh, this is the original flavor, and I got this from Amazon, actually. I have been drinking the, uh, the Kona, that's what I think it is, yeah, the Kona Hemp Energy Drinks, and I love them, and, um, I just wanted something different, so I looked online, and these kind of caught my eye. I wanted to look into other, uh, hemp energy drinks, so I paid, uh, about $34.99, for a 12-pack, which I think is kind of high, but they got good reviews, 4 out of 5 stars of like, uh, I think 85 reviews or something like that, so I figured I'd give it a chance, why not? Gotta live a little. So, it says kind of hemp natural energy drink, and I guess it's from Jamaica? I don't know if they'll zoom in. Yeah, distributed by, yeah, them, kind of hemp natural energy drink, Jamaica. So, this has no artificial flavors. No artificial colors, no artificial sweeteners. This is organic caffeine, zero THC. This has omega-3s, of course. This has pure cane sugar, is gluten-free, and is vegan. So that's just a little uh, litany of what it uh, has or doesn't have. I don't know if the camera's gonna focus, but yeah, it doesn't wanna focus. Anyways. So, this is the original, like I said earlier. Here's what it looks like. It kind of looks, uh, give me a, it gives me a Mountain Dew, like, feel to it. They had mango, but I figured, I'd try original. Just to see what the original, um, is like. If I like it, I might get mango later. Or if you guys want me to, uh, make one of the mangoes, just let me know in the comments below. But, I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So this is 12 fluid ounces or 355 milliliters. And I am excited to try this. I always like to open these slow because you don't know if it has like a, uh, if it can explode. I noticed with my Kona Classic Hemp Energy Drinks, you got to open it slowly. Otherwise, it will just be one mess. Hmm, smells nice. You can smell the pure cane sugar. So, without further ado, cheers. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is not a bad energy drink, per se. And I guess you're wondering, okay, Rev, if, uh, why are you making that face if it's not a bad energy drink, per se? Well, it has a weird aftertaste. And I think that's why I saw some of the reviews saying, like, it had, like, a weird or sugary aftertaste. I wouldn't call it sugary, but just when you drink it, it's like this, it's like a strong smell to it. You could kind of smell it if you just put it up to your nose. But if you if you hold it up there longer, it kind of smells odd. It's easier to taste the smell when you're drinking it, if that makes sense. I mean, it's good, but as far as the aftertaste, this little tangy taste... The best way I could describe it, it, it smells kind of like 
at least in my in my uh cognition it smells kind of like a dead animal or like a rotten plant and that really kind of takes away from it just from the whole uh i guess atmosphere vibe of the drink it kind of takes me out of it but as far as the the taste itself goes um it's not bad other than the aftertaste But, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. And I really, I really don't know what to describe it as. I guess it would have, like, an original taste. I guess if you had, like, a plain Alka-Seltzer... Just a plain, original flavor Alka-Seltzer. And you threw in some sugar with that. And, um, I don't know, throw in some hemp. I guess that might be the best way to describe the taste itself. I mean, it's not bad. It, it's just, just kind of off. It's just a little bit strange. Yeah, I mean, it kind of, the aftertaste, it just tastes kind of rotten, but maybe I'm just not describing it right. But, um, wow, this has to be one of the weirdest drinks I've tasted on my channel so far. Yeah, best way I can describe it is it tastes like a, if a out if an original Alka Seltzer became a soda and you like throw sugar in it, that's probably the best way I can describe it. So, as you guys know, I rank my uh, taste test or my drink test on. Now, would I wake up and say, "Oh boy, I want a kind of hemp drink, and I'm going to go out of my way to get one." Especially a 12 pack for $34.99 in the original flavor, might I add. And my answer to that would be Nah, I would not, or I do not see myself getting. Uh, these things, 12 packs for $34.99 for the way that this tastes. It's kind of strange. It's kind of mystical. Um, like I said, it's not bad, but it's just not me. The aftertaste it's, it's, just, it's too strong for me, and it just kind of makes me feel weird. Almost like I shouldn't be drinking this. Like, it might do more harm than good. Even though it would probably do that regardless. But, um, no, I'm just kidding. Or maybe. I don't know. But as far as the taste go, it's alright, but I don't think this one is for me. Now, if I was, like, in some strange uh, store on the side of the road or, like, at a beach or someplace and I saw this and it was, like, a dollar and nothing else looked appetizing, then I might pick it up. But constantly buying this every pay period or whatnot or whenever, whenever I'm out. Nah, I'm gonna just stick with the Kona hemp because I actually, uh, I actually prefer those now that I've tasted this and I like those better so far. Man, you know, they got mango and I think they have another flavor of this. If you guys really want me to taste the mango or whatever flavor that they have, I don't know if I can uh, have it up or uh, look at it real quick. Nah. Yeah, but I just know, um, mangoes one, another one. So if you guys really want that, let me know in the comments below. And I might try to taste that one for y'all. Or if there's another flavor of this that you can find on Amazon, just let me know if you're curious and having me try it out. But for me, this is a pass. Aftertaste is just, it's too strong and it's just too weird for me. So, yeah. With that being said, if you happen to like this video... Or you're a fan of just drink, ta drink tests, taste tests, toys, reviews, video games, cosplay, stuff like that. 
then feel free to check out the rest of my channel. And if you happen to like what you see, then please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. And be sure to check out my Redbubble. And uh, do what you got to do. And I will see you all in the next video. Alright guys, talk to you later. Bye.